was thought that now was a great time for love. I gave you an order, Miranda. Oh, what? You'll replace me next? Not quite, but nobody's perfect. If somebody traveled back in time and told me that the Mass Effect trilogy would be getting a 4K graphical overhaul in the year of 2021, I would know exactly what to say. It's time to romance Miranda, someone who's objectively the Mass Effect trilogy's third best girl, and then make a really long YouTube video about her explaining why she's awesome and really underappreciated. Ah! Roll that trailer! What would you do if someone had you locked up in a world that's been all planned out for you? That you would amount to nothing but a social tool without a use? How would you determine how best to live your life? <coughs> Mac Walters shared an internal document with GameSpot that gave the world some insight into how Bioware drafts his characters. You can see really clear starting points for what would become Miranda. She was conceived and designed by her father to be nothing more than a baby making machine. A genetically perfect broodmare. Like, oh, uh, dude, what the fuck, man? Um, oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Miranda. I'm, I'm breaking up with you for science, I swear. It's finally done! Hey guys, Badger right here, and I'm back with the finale of Season 1 of Dichotomy of a Character. In the upcoming explosive finale for the series, we're taking an in-depth look at Mass Effect's Miranda Lawson, examining how Miranda herself is a well-written character in fiction, as our genetically perfect Ice Queen slowly defrosts into a humanistic and imperfect woman, as she learns that she's literally worth more than some of her parts over the course of the Mass Effect trilogy. If that fake description of Miranda's character arc doesn't satisfy you, I encourage you all to tune in for the premiere of this episode of Dichotomy of a Character this Saturday, October 9th at noon, Eastern Standard Time. This episode is my longest and most ambitious episode of Dichotomy of a Character to date. We're clocking in at over 5 hours and 40 minutes of pure in-depth analytical content, with some chroma key memes sprinkled in for good measure. Nice! Look at that character development! Wow! This to make this upcoming episode of the Economy of a Character the longest running episode on my YouTube channel as of right now. We'll certainly have to see how the particular cookie crumbles as we move on to Season 2, where we'll start talking about Persona 5's cast of awesome characters. Speaking of that, keep on the lookout for smaller projects and a few other videos that may or may not involve Metroid Dread or any other Metroid games in the future. Maybe I'll stream myself playing both Metroid Dread and Persona 5 for use in future videos. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway guys, this has been X-Badger and X, and I hope to see you all this Saturday, October 9th, at noon Eastern Standard Time, for the premiere of the next Economy of a Character episode. I'll see you guys then. I'm out of here, and goodbye for now.